So the word's out on the street. You're not happy with the run times you're getting out of your LPE6 batteries with your Blackmagic Pocket 6K and 4K cameras. You know you don't want to buy the Blackmagic design battery grip and two of these NP style batteries either. Or drop big coin on something like this, this, or this, but you do want to start using V-Lock batteries like these. Well, here's a solution that's super cheap, will keep your rig compact, lightweight, and with a little bit of do-it-yourself tweaking, you'll save big money. And with the money that you have left over compared to the other options on the market, you'll be able to afford to get yourself at least one V-Lock battery for your new kit. So what's this item? It's the Canavate V-Lock kit with base wedge plate, and it costs less than 30 US dollars. And the best thing about it is, if you mount it to your small rig riser plate like this, you will leave the rear touch control screen unobstructed. Unlike this configuration and this configuration, which literally make no sense for controlling your pocket 6K and 4K cameras. The fastest way to change the settings is with the rear touch screen. So why obstruct it? The wedge that is supplied can be used for another accessory and is not required for mounting batteries. So let's put that aside for now and we'll utilize it with another accessory later. Even though V-Lock wedges are standard, you should still check every V-Lock battery wedge that you have to make sure it fits and locks snugly in the Canavate V-Lock base kit. As you can see here, the base of the Canavate is slightly too wide for my V-Lock's channel, but it does have enough meat on it to shave it down to size. A quick measurement check confirms this. Everything is lining up so we're good to go with the resizing. Using the measurement that you took, mark the edge of the Canavate so that you have a guide and don't take off too much of the alloy. Using a belt sander is a great way to slowly shave off the excess alloy, stopping frequently to check the fittings with the battery. You want this to be a snug fit. Once the base plate is down to size, give it a good clean, round off those edges, whack on a coat of black paint, and attach it to the rear of your bridge plate. Most modern camera bridge plates will have additional mounting points for accessories like these at the back. Now you can mount this to the camera cage. I'm using the small rig because it's cheap and versatile. Finally, by using a small tripod slide plate, the battery mount does not obstruct the camera and rig's ability to attach to a tripod. This means that you can stay in run and gun handheld mode with the camera and still be able to mount it to a tripod without the separate purchase of a touch and go plate. Attach a battery, a single to quad P-tap expander, and you'll be good to power your camera remote focus unit, monitor, and EVF. What's even better is, is if you get into a position where you need more power distribution options or SDI breakouts, you can always upgrade this setup with something like this wooden camera C-Box that will convert your HDMI signal to SDI, and then you can feed Video Village, your onboard monitor, and EVF, or even a wireless video distribution system. This simple little bracket really is the cheapest, most expandable option on the market at the moment. And for very little money, you have increased the run times of your camera. Even with the cheapest V-Lock battery solution you can find on the market, you will exponentially increase your run times, reduce your camera down times, battery exchange times, and give yourself enough additional power for accessories that are not possible from a single LPE6 battery or any other adapter at this price point because there is none. As you can see here, this rig can power a full dual motor fizz system, the camera, an EVF, external SSD, microphone, and onboard monitor, and is only 30 centimeters or 12 inches long, making it one of the smallest Blackmagic design Pocket 6K or 4K rigs out there to date, while still retaining great ergonomics for handheld use without the requirement of an easy rig. There are many other ways that you could use this to mount batteries to your pocket cameras, but I'll let your imaginations go with that. So that's how you use the Canavate V-Lock mount to use larger batteries on your pocket 6K and 4K cinema cameras. Now that your camera has much longer run times, get out there and shoot something, guys, and I will see you in the next one. Bye for now.